Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Chris with the C. Hope you're doing well. Thank you very much for joining me today. Guys, on the table, we do have a new car to the channel. Big shout out to Model Sport here in the UK for hooking me up with this car. Guys, there yeah, well, we'll put a link in the description to where you can actually purchase this. I think this is possibly one of the best purchases you can make for your fellow uh, RC enthusiast or child or someone like that, basically, who's into uh, the hobby. Here in the UK right now, this truck actually retails for less than £300, so it's an absolute steal, this, guys. Now, yes, before a bunch of you jump on the comments, guys, and actually start tearing me to pieces, I am fully aware this truck does come with a few caveats as well, but we will talk about that when we're unboxing the vehicle. Now, this truck... Yeah, as I, in the UK, as I mentioned, is under £300, but it's a 1.8 scale, guys, a 1.8 scale basher. Stunt truck, whichever, what you, whatever you want to call it, very, very compelling by this, guys. I want to show you, I'm going to unbox it, we're going to show you basically why I think this is, well, it, it's without a doubt one of the best buys you can actually make here now, here in the UK. Guys... I'm going to stop waffling. Uh, massive shout out to each and every one of you obviously watching the channel at the moment. We are on the cusp of 1,000 subscribers. Absolutely amazing. I can't thank you enough. Head cam on. Let's dive down and we'll, uh, we'll go through the unboxing, guys. Come on, then. Right, guys. The MT8 by Team Associated. Now, okay, a few of you are going to have a mixed feelings about this truck. I get it. That's fine. That's absolutely... Uh, but this is going to be my own truck. So I, I'm not really that bothered, but I do think this in the UK right now offers one of the best bang for bucks you can actually buy. Uh, big shout out to Model Sport. Uh, as I say, huge thank you to them for hooking me up with the truck, getting it out to me. And guys, um, we're going to unbox this now and basically go over the truck. As you can see, a one head scale monster truck. Um, Team Associated guys, a very, very respectable brand. Um, if you haven't heard of Team Associated, obviously I could fully understand if you're new to the hobby. If you're not, you're going to know who these are. This is the big brother to the uh, mighty MT-10. Everyone rants and raves about the MT-10. I don't expect this to be the same as the MT-10, all right? But um, you are getting Team Associated uh, build and kind of the attention to detail on a lot of things, all right? Now, I, I do, as I say, there are some caveats. We will go over that. Right, 1.8 scale RTR, all right, uh, four-wheel drive, electric powered, all the bits and bobs you need to know. Brushless, it's got LEDs, four LEDs on the truck, and we'll go over that in a moment. Um, as you can see, guys, there's the chassis layout and a few bit more tech specs. What else we got on the box here? Yeah. So one of the key things, and um, one of the things I did notice, it has got a four millimeter chassis as well, guys. Uh, chassis braces. Um, now, a few people are like, oh yeah, uh, Corali, they've got um, uh, these chassis braces. It was on this truck first, guys. Uh, watch this space, and I'm sure there's other trucks, but uh, some really nice uh, one-eight scale tires. You have got, uh, obviously, the uh, double impact uh, front bumper with some LED lights in there. Wheelie bar, um, the wheelie bar wheels actually really, really look really good. A few other bits and bobs. And what else we got in the box? Well, I think that's pretty much about it. Um, what I will do in a moment is actually, as I mentioned, I will put the head cam on and uh, we'll go over it. But the one of the key things that I noticed about this truck is the electrics package. Now, it's a big talking point for me. You're getting a 1.8 scale uh, ESC and motor, and you've got obviously the servo. Um, it's for under £300. It's massive. I mean, the electrics alone, you're heading towards possibly half the price of the vehicle for a start. Um, guys, I will put a link in the description where you can actually pick this truck up as well, as I mentioned. All right, and uh, I'm quite looking forward to unboxing this for you, so I'm going to stop waffling. Put the head cam on now, and we'll go from there, guys. We will go from there. So, yeah. Let's... Right, guys. So, let's get out of the box, shall we? Um, right. I've been really looking forward to this truck, actually, to be honest with you. Uh, I haven't had anything monster uh, trucky for a while. So, yeah. I've been quite looking forward to this. Let's get out of the box. Um, as I say, uh, Model Sport in the UK hooked me up with this truck. Um... It was actually on offer for $299. Um, oh, hang on, what's this? 
Oh, interesting. Well, I will talk about that in a second. Look at it, guys. Look at it. Um, let's take this off, shall we? There you go. There you go. As you can see, there's a lovely colour to the body. First impressions, shocks feel absolutely awesome. So that's good. Let's out the box. That goes back in anything in there. No. Okay, so that can go there. You've got your handset. What's this? Is there anything? Alright. Okay, Team Associated MT8. And actually, it's a bit bigger than I thought it would be. Um, so we can compare it to the Habao in a minute. We'll do that. But uh, yeah, tyres feel nice and grippy. Suspension feels plush. There's a lovely wheelie bar by there. Let's have a look. Let's pick a truck up. So as you can see... Very stout looking actually. I do like the chassis. Okay. Liking that. Liking that very much. Um, it's not as big as I intentionally thought it would might be. I mind. I will add that. Um, for some reason in my head I thought it would be a little bit bigger than this. But I'm not uh, disappointed with that actually. Because it will actually help with the way the truck runs. Um... Plastics feel good so far. Now, a lot of people will mention, let's talk about this quickly. A lot of people will mention about, uh, I've done my research. Uh, big shout out to uh, uh, Tim Irons or Mitt Snorri is on Facebook. He actually runs a team associated at MT8 um, Facebook group. Very good friend of mine. We talk on a regular basis. Uh, we've been kind of, buzzing around each other since the armor forum days and uh yeah he's very very knowledgeable on these trucks uh guys if you are interested in this truck or the mt10 head over to uh their facebook group i will put a link in the description loads of knowledge him and james law on youtube uh, they're currently going through the fastest mt8 challenge at the moment i believe as well but um there are a few little caveats with this truck. Um, you've probably seen it with other YouTubers and stuff like that where they've gone, oh, the plastics are a bit weak, blah, 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 blah. I know, but still, let's look at the price point of this vehicle. A 1.8 scale monster truck. Even if you've got to spend, let's say you spend £50, all right, on a set of RPM arms or something like that, and maybe some turnbuckles, blah, 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 blah. It's still a very, very cheap truck for what it is. Now... Let's take the body off, shall we? We'll have a little look at the body. I'll tell you what we'll do, actually. I'll pause the video and we'll just have a quick scout around the vehicle first, shall we? Should we do that? Yeah, come on. Right guys, if you follow in the channel, maybe a little thing, but yeah, nice little touch, big body pins, and uh, they're curved, so that's nice. There's the body, guys. Obviously, you've got this rear support, obviously some skid bars, 
and a skid bar on the rear. Uh, that's something I would normally add to a truck, actually, to be honest. Here is the skid bars and obviously the rear skid. Um, might see if they actually do one for the front here as well. But uh, yeah, very nice, actually. Um, inside, I'm going to do a bit of um, uh, body structural kind of basically making the body a bit tougher all right i normally do this before running each of my tracks but as you can see the actual support for the roof goes all the way through the vehicle and right out the back here as well so that's good they are really nice team associated on the rear but uh, yeah great not bad at all um i actually quite like that body really uh, i actually uh, did think to be honest with you um, it was going to be a little bit worse than that, but uh, yeah, oh well, it looks like I'll actually be running it with that on. Right guys, on to the main event, on to the main event. Um, one eight scale basher guys, alright, as you can see, very nicely done, Team Associate did uh, the screws and everything. A couple of things to mention upgrade wise, we'll talk about those in a moment. But uh, as you can see, the shocks are very nice, I will dial them in a little bit better. Uh, you have got, I tell you what, let's put the head cam on, it's easier for me to do this. Right guys, so, MT8 underneath the bonnet, uh, as I would call it. Um, basically, you're getting a 1.8 scale. Obviously, you've got this really nice sort of centre support that comes to the centre diff. Now, one thing to mention, you have got a front, uh, sorry, front and rear and centre diff in this vehicle. Really, really nice. Uh, you've got the rebranded, uh, they've actually branded it as Reedy. Uh, it's a rebranded Hobbywing 10BL150 ESC in there. Now, I've actually used one of these on several vehicles. I actually really do like these. They are a cracking uh, ESC. Um, the good thing to mention here, that is programmable as well, so that's nice. You've got this, uh, oh, let's turn the car around. You've got this 2100 uh, Reedy uh, motor, so it's 2100 kV. I think it's 4270, I believe, if I remember rightly. Um, I will check the specs on that. But um, nice, I think, to be honest with you, it's hobby, a Hobby Wing rebranded motor as well. You've got the Reedy 25 kilogram servo. Now, um, I have seen a few people mentioning the servos a little bit slow, but 25 kilograms really on a truck this size is actually absolutely fine. But um, I quite like my servos uh, quick, so I probably will change that out. But still, if you're not going to change it out, yeah, I don't think you'll do too bad. Um, you've got this tub chassis design, as you can see. Let's turn the car over. Okay. So, one of the key things on this as well, it is a 4mm chassis, essentially, in the middle. Obviously, you've got your, uh, your side guards here. They're made out of really high-quality plastic. They do feel stout and sturdy. No issues there. Skids front and rear as well. All right, so you've got those on there. Um, now, a few people mention about these arms. They're a little bit brittle. Um, okay, let's put this in perspective. If you are going to jump this off 15 foot... Um, jumps and land them awkwardly yes these will snap um whether you you know you're, you're someone like me who tends to keep it on the ground but just enjoy the truck for what it is these might actually last a little bit longer and that's where the the value for money comes in here a set of rpm arms i've looked on model sport as well i believe are underneath 15 pounds here in the uk so it, i'm gonna actually purchase some of these now next friday i'm actually gonna put some rpm arms on um the actual gear mesh is set up really nice. Uh, I've got no issues with that. Um, you've got an adjustable battery box here as well. So, a uh, lot again, some people have mentioned that they obviously, oh, you can't fit certain batteries in there. If you look, let's just open this up here. If you look inside the actual battery box, guys, oh, take that off there, take that off there. You've got a battery support there. That's, that's nice that they've got it over to keep your uh, LiPo in. If you actually look inside there, guys, they're all done on 2mm uh, hex screws, so you can actually space the battery tray out. Um, so, again, uh, LiPo packs should fit in there okay. Um, it is only set up, mind, as you can see, for a single connection. Now, okay... 
This, I believe, um, quite honestly, isn't a good idea. Um, Team Associated must test in it, but I don't like Dean's connector, so I will be fitting some EC5s on it. All my batteries on EC5s anyway. Um, but I'm not sure why anything that's 6S capable, why you would actually fit the Dean's. Don't get me wrong, there is talks so I've seen basically where certain Deans are, are, are made of better quality and stuff like that, but still, I do not like Deans connectors. Uh, again, you've got your on-off switch here and your programming button, so that's, again, typical hobby wing. Um, I do like that. To get into your receiver box, nice and easy. Uh, you've got one clip here. As you can see, just dropped it in there, and now that actually gets you into your receiver box. So that's good. In fact, let's get that body pin out. Turn it upside down, sweet. There you go. Body pin's out. Um, but overall, uh, I'm quite impressed. I'm quite impressed. Look, you're talking. Uh, this is cheaper here in the UK than some of the 3S cars. You get in 150 amp ESE, 2100 kV motor, 25 kilogram servo, a center diff, tunable front front and rear diffs. Um, let's have a look. You also get in uh, metal hinge pin holders all the way through. The wheelie bar. Um, it does. They're rubber. They're actually rubber, so that's nice. Uh, adjustable body mounts, suspension is way better than most trucks within this uh, uh, category or sort of price point. Um, full metal, obviously alloy shocks. Um, the shock caps, you can buy metal ones, so I probably will buy some of those anyway, just for the sake of I'm gonna keep hold of this truck. Um, again, as you can see, you've got your rear lights. That's all added. All the cabling's done nicely as well. And this is something I've, I've noticed with Team Associated. They do tend to concentrate on making everything look tidy. Um, lights at the front. Yeah. Now, one of the things to mention here, guys, that people do pick up on, is the steering. They say, oh, the steering's quite slow and it's a bit weak and you've got a servo saver. That servo saver, tighten it down. I think uh, Razor RC has mentioned previously, um, if you tighten that down, maybe one or two or one and a half turns, your servo will work a hell of a lot better as well. But the overall quality of the vehicle, apart from the obvious, and people have mentioned the arms. Now, the good thing is about this truck, it shares a lot of the parts with the uh, Kaiju EXT. Um, the Red Cat Kaiju EXT, the good thing is, is you can actually... Uh, if you wanted to change them out, you can change them for EXT uh, control arms and A arms. Um, now, what I will be doing probably is well, I'm not, I'm, I'm not will be, I am. I've ordered some Techno turnbuckles as well. The beauty of all this is uh, parts can be swapped from Team Associated to Red Cat Kaiju and back over again. And also there are some, uh, there's a lot of knowledge on this vehicle. And I think it's a very, very good time to actually buy this because a lot of people have been messing about with them and actually making these rock solid bashers. And you get in a very, very good package for the money. Um, as I say, uh, you know, massive shout out to Model Sport for helping me uh, with my purchase. Uh, this isn't a sponsored video as per se, guys. I did actually purchase this with my own money. They were good enough to sort out a few bits and bobs for me. But uh, yeah, um, I will put a link in description. Um, as I said, £300 here in the UK is, is, is an absolute no-brainer, this vehicle, I think, personally. I am looking forward to getting this vehicle out, though. But unfortunately, the weather here in the UK is absolutely atrocious. Again, why not? Why wouldn't it be? It's the UK. Um, as you can see, though, look at the camber there. So if we... Let, let's talk... Let's put something straight next to it, shall we? There you go. As you can see, the bottom of the wheel... So you should have basically a little bit of a gap at the top and none at the bottom, but uh, the camber there is actually off a fair bit. But adjustable turnbuckles, don't panic. You can you know you can sort it out. A little bit of uh, TLC, getting this truck right before we take it out. I think will actually pay dividends. The other thing to mention, guys, 
is apparently is the Ackerman on the front of the vehicle um, is recommended by a few people I've spoken to to change this over for a metal Ackerman. Again, you could pick that up on Model Sport here in the UK. I think the Ackerman, if I remember rightly, is £24. Um, and, you know, obviously that's going to solve a lot of your steering issues. I'm impressed. I am impressed. Um, you're getting a lot for your money. Right. I'm going to stop the video here. We'll do a little bit of a tour around the vehicle with the camera. And, uh, yeah. We're, oh. Um, oh. Before we go. Okay. So. Handset. XP120. Um, I've used this on my Element Ecto. Um, it, obviously, as you know, Element is a part of the team associated. And... I've actually used it on my Habau for a little period of time. Um, it's okay. Um, I do feel the throttle is a bit on and off. So I probably will be using my Absima ham set in here. Um, only pure and simply so I can link all my trucks up together anyway. But um, to, to get you going, I mean, I, I got on with it. I didn't really have much of an issue. Some people are saying this is terrible. There is better options probably, but uh, to get you going again, let's talk about value for money. You've got a, you know, one eight scale monster truck, uh, tra tra uh, transmitter and everything else that goes with it. 300 pound guys. Um, you've got your usual things on there, obviously. So you've got um, throttle, steer and response, uh, dual rates. Um, actually, to be honest with you, my 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 other one um, has actually got more settings than this, but uh, ooh, mm -hmm, interesting. Steering wheel feels tidy enough. I uh, do like the foam on the wheel. Stop it. Go from there. See you in a sec. Right, guys. So just opening up this service pack, as you can see, uh, I think that might be the part number there. Eleven twenty four seventy is the MT eight service pack. All right, team associated. I'll have to check on the Model Sport website to see if that's actually available. Um, but yeah, that that's the service pack I've got sent. So in the box you actually get, or in the packaging, you get four control arms. So front of rear, as you can see. One, two, three, and four, and some screws. All right, so that's nice that they've actually included those. Okay, and then moving on, you've actually got some, in fact, let's just open these up, bear with me. What have you got in the package in here? Let's have a look. So you've got front and rear arms, set of each. Okay, and obviously you've got the shock cap ends, which go over the front of the vehicle there. So that's nice. Yeah, very nice. So it's you know, nice to know I've got some spares to back me up here as well. As I say, I will check this out on the Model Sport website. Um, do they actually look the same color? Yeah, I think they are. It's basically just a... Uh, shock cap. Oh, one thing to mention I didn't mention earlier on. You can actually get stabilizer bars for this. There are a few little upgrades you can buy for it. But again, £300 here in the UK. Now, I, I don't think these come with it. All right. But, you know, obviously, um, I think these have sent over for the purpose of this video. But, um, yeah, service pack, guys. Probably recommend you pick one up. Um, I have heard some issues where arms are snapping. But if you keep things subjective to what they are, use it on the ground, enjoy it as a stunt truck, um, maybe a couple of light jumps, you know, not sending it 20, 30 foot in the air, you should be all right. Right. Okay, so in the actual packaging, you get all this as well, guys. You have got a 70 millimeter uh, wheel hex tool there, as you can see. Uh, nice that they've included that, the metal one as well. Um, yeah, nice and basic, easy to use, no issues there. Uh, you've got your bind plug, all right, obviously for binding your handset with your receiver. Some Allen keys to get you going. All right, what else have you got? You've got the Reedy SC1500 uh, BL, so basically Hobbywing uh, ESC owner's manual for your ESC. Obviously in here, you will have your uh, settings and what, you know, what it's capable of doing. 
Let's have a look. Troubleshooting. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. We got a calibration table. Let's have a look. Calibration, throttle calibration. So it tells you how to do that. So that's good. Uh, I haven't seen that on many uh, ESCs. And you've got your troubleshooting guide. It doesn't actually give you a programming table though. So that's unusual. But uh, yeah, anyway, so you've got that. Um, I do believe the HPI Savage Flux um, it has, has the same ESC in it. And if you want to look up online, there is a programming table for it there. You've got your XP120 instruction manual, obviously telling you how to use your handset and everything else, blah, blah, blah. Um, letter of conformity. Submitted, standards found, okay. So yeah, basically saying it's been tested. So, okay, happy days. And then, what's this by here? Uh, your brushless motor guide. Okay, so that tells you about your brushless motor. And a very nice instruction manual as well, guys. Typical team associated, loads to show you. Obviously you've got your part numbers, all your screw numbers and everything else, sizes, everything else. Um, quick start guide, shocks, differentials. It actually tells you the weight to use as well. So that's nice, 50 weight in front and rear. Obviously more. More information, all the screws are obviously all listed and everything as, as well, so that's nice. And does this fold out? No, it doesn't. But uh, yeah, everything you need to know about your vehicle and how to set it up is more like a kit guide, really, with Team Associated, as you can see. Um, all the information you're going to need is all, all there for you, even down to your, your body. Um, set tuning tips, front and camber, setting the gear mesh, Ackerman. Yeah, very nice. No issues there at all. All right, let's dive back up. Right, guys, so that was my unboxing and my first look at the Team Associated MT8, which I purchased myself. Massive shout out to Model Sport, as I mentioned once again. £300 here in the UK, guys, um, or less than £300, actually. Very, very, very compelling purchase. Um, I'm majorly happy I've actually picked this up. And, and what you're getting in that box is an absolute bargain for me personally. Um, the next video you'll see of me doing this is I'm actually going to tuck into the vehicle. We're going to set up the diffs. We're going to set up the endpoints and everything else and get it ready for his first run. As I normally do in all my videos, guys, it's not just a one-stop shop. We do tend to tuck into the vehicle, uh, tune the diffs, tune the suspension, set up the camber and everything else and get it ready to run. Um, now, um, I want to say thank you to each and every one of you watching these videos as well, guys. Massive shout out to you all. Without you, honestly, the channel and the community that we got I genuinely, genuinely appreciate all the comments, the likes, the shares, the subscribes, and everything else that goes on with the, uh, the channel, guys. Even just the, uh, the sort of participation on some of the silly posts that I put up in the community uh, tabs. I really do. <laughs> I enjoy talking to you all. Keep liking, keep subscribing, and keep sharing. Um, it's, the, it's the key to this, guys. I can't wait to get this out. Uh, as you can see, the weather here in the UK is absolutely shocking. Um, but it is going to give me a little bit of time to work on the car. Make sure you check the box for more videos. And until next time, guys, stay awesome. I'll catch you later.